The show's been brought to you by Real World Wildlife Seed, Prime, Crooked Creek Antler Art, G5 Outdoors, Scent Blocker, Grubs of North America, and the Burt Coyote Luminoc. On this week's episode, we want to go through and show you the steps that we took to grow and hold mature bucks on this 115 acre track right here in central Illinois. You're looking at the original aerial photo we received from the landowner. We seen this photo and we knew the potential this property had to offer, so we wanted to get on and walk and see what it truly looked like in person. Let's get to work. After walking the property, we knew the first step we needed to take was to create a sanctuary. We're going to create a sanctuary by incorporating a TSI, Timber Stand Improvement. The area outlined in yellow is where we are going to incorporate the TSI, so let's get started. Sanctuaries are crucial for holding deer on your property during daylight hours. And then whenever you incorporate food plots on the edges, it draws them out. It's a downfall to this property that there is no food out on the edges. The deer must leave the property in order to go eat. Deer generally transition from greens to beans. So that's why we have designated these food plots with real world's clover chicory, harvest salad, oats, and plot topper. We've also strategically placed three food plots on this property so we can hunt shatter resistant soybeans in the late season for any wind that mother nature gives us. Due to the location of these two food plots, we're going to plant switchgrass as a visual barrier due to the nearby roads. All right, we're gonna do some flagging here so the bulldozer knows where to come in and clear to add these food plots. There's not very much food on this farm and we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna bulldoze some areas out and we're gonna add some food to us. It is important to choose the tree that you're going to be sitting in based on the wind before setting up the property around it. In this case, we chose a silver maple due to the entrance and exit with the wind in your face. Here is a recap of everything we have accomplished this week.
This concludes this week's episode on how we have set up a whitetail hunting property. Hopefully we have presented some ideas that you can apply to your hunting property to bring you future success. Thank you for viewing and be sure to stay tuned for next week's episode. Beautiful.